Hello, my name's Renee Blanding, and I've been an anesthesiologist for 25 years, and I'm also the Vice President for Medical Affairs here at Johns Hopkins Bayview Medical Center. Part of my role is providing a safe environment for our patients, visitors, families, as well as our faculty and staff. Early in the COVID-19 pandemic, we suspended the performance of elective surgical procedures, and we implemented a number of practices that optimize the safety of our patients and staff. Here's what you can expect if you're having surgery here at Johns Hopkins Baby. We take infection prevention very seriously, and our staff follow guidance from the CDC and our Johns Hopkins Medicine Infection Control Specialist. Our staff are screened daily for the symptoms of COVID, and we wear personal protective equipment, or PPE, like face shields and masks, and we also practice proper hand hygiene during your visit. For everyone's safety, any hospitalized patients with COVID are kept isolated from other patients in a special unit designed for their care. We maintain strict cleaning standards by disinfecting rooms and equipment between each patient. All patients scheduled for procedures or surgery are required to be tested within 72 hours before the date of their surgery. Drive-through testing is available on our campus. If you develop symptoms such as a cough or fever, it is important to call your physician who will arrange for your care. If you receive a pre-op phone call from our nurse, you will be asked about a number of symptoms such as fever, cough, and the loss of taste or smell. You may also receive a text message inquiring about your symptoms on the day prior to your surgery. On the day of your surgery, you will park in the hospital parking garage. You will enter at the blue awning, which is located immediately adjacent to the garage. Again, you will be asked by security about the presence of symptoms. Security will direct you to report to the registration area on the third floor. We ask that you bring a mask. If you do not have one, we will provide you with a mask to wear within the hospital while you wait for your surgery to begin. Because we practice physical distancing to minimize the number of people in the waiting room, please adhere to the arrival time you are provided. One visitor or family member may accompany you to the waiting area. Once you go into the preoperative area, your visitor must leave the hospital to minimize the number of people inside the hospital. If you live nearby, the visitor can go home to wait. Lastly, if the procedure is short, the visitor can wait inside the car while the procedure is being completed. Based on the length of the procedure, the OR nurse may send text messages regarding critical time elements such as the start and finish of the surgery to your family. After your surgery, we will review your discharge instructions with you and can include a designated family member by phone. When you are ready to leave, we will safely escort you to the care of the person taking you home. The driver must wear a mask. We are honored to care for you during this pandemic and beyond. Our highest priority is ensuring the safety and well-being of our patients. We thank you for choosing Johns Hopkins Bayview for your care, and we wish you well during your surgical journey and your recovery.